Hello and welcome to Medical Dialogues. I'm Anshaka Mishra, as per our to you from the world of medicine. Comparing stomach glute diet versus stirs appetite for weight loss in adults with obesity in a JAMA study. In a study published in the journal JAMA Internal Medicine, researchers analyzed how weight loss differs between patients receiving stirs appetite compared with stomach glute diet among a clinical population of adults with overweight or obesity. Overweight and obesity are common conditions linked to higher risk of various health issues and early death. Traditional weight loss medications have been few, poorly tolerated and only mildly effective. However, newer drugs like semaglutide, a GLP-1 receptor agonist, and terzepatide, a dual GLP-1 GIP agonist, have shown significant weight loss benefits in clinical trials for people with obesity with or without type 2 diabetes. While terzepatide has been found to cause more weight loss than semaglutide in type 2 diabetes patients, direct comparison of their effectiveness in people with overweight and obesity are still lacking. In this cohort study, researchers used electronic health records to assess weight outcomes for adults with overweight or obesity who received semaglutide or terzepatide between May 2022 and September 2023. They included adults with no prior use of GLP-1 receptor agonist who had regular care in the year before starting the medication and an available waistline weight. Participants had a BMI of 27 or higher or a diagnosis code for overweight or obesity. Are you also aspiring to excel in medical journalism and delve into the intricacies of health and medical reporting? Explore our comprehensive course on medical and health journalism available at the Medical Dialogues Academy. Learn from industry experts who possess in-depth knowledge and experience in this field. For further details, scan the QR code provided or access the link in the description box below. Patients were classified as having type 2 diabetes if they had a type 2 diabetes diagnosis and prescribed insulin or DPP-4 inhibitor or had a HbA1c level of 7.5% or higher within the past two years. The study also reviewed patient demographic, clinical comorbidities, use of other anti-diabetic medications, anti-obesity medication and history of bariatric surgery. The results showed that patients on terzepatide had significantly more weight loss. At 3 and 12 months, those on terzepatide experienced greater weight reduction. Among the matched group, 81.8% on terzepatide versus 665 on semaglutide achieved at least 5% weight loss. 62.1% versus 37.1% achieved at least 10% weight loss. And for a 2.3% versus 18.1% achieved at least 15% weight loss within a year. The hazard ratios for terzepatide compared to semaglutide were 1.76 for 5% weight loss, 2.54 for 10% weight loss, and 3.24 for 15% weight loss. The findings revealed that individuals with overweight or obesity treated with terzepatide were significantly more likely to achieve clinically meaningful weight loss and larger reductions in body weight compared with those treated with semaglutide. Consistent treatment effect estimates were observed in subgroups with and without type 2 diabetes. Future work is needed to compare the effect of terzepatide and semaglutide on other key endpoints. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for more updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe and press the bell icon.